Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I've got an idea for a Code Blocks chair. My friends, let's get cracking. Our first step, friends, is to click Code Blocks. Then choose Create New Code Block. When the little window pops up, I need you to do New Design. Let's begin by changing the name. I'm going to put Chair, and I'm going to put my initials after it. And then we're going to start by bringing out the Create New Object. Now the first piece I'd like to create is the seat. So I'm going to just name it seat by choosing rename variable and telling it OK. We're going to make this with a shape called a box. When you bring out your box, open its parameters. I'm going to keep the 20 by 20, but I'm only going to make it four thick. And I'm going to make the edge too. I want you all to pick your own fun colors. I'm going to do a wood color, but you can pick anything you want. I do want yours to be different. When we hit play, check it out, that looks like the seat on a simple chair. The next thing I want to build is the back. Once again, click Modify, New Object, choose Rename, and let's type the name back. We're going to build it with a box as well. When you bring this one in, open up its parameters, and I want you to take its length, and I want you to make it 4, and let's make its height 30. I'm going to also round it with the two edges, and we hit play. Check it out. It'll be the back of our chair. I think that's too tall, so I'm going to change it to 25. And then we're going to move it later. I'm not going to worry about moving it now. The next piece of our code block is the leg. So we're going to do create new object. Once again, we're going to hit rename. This time we're going to name it leg. And this is going to be the simplest chair, but we'll be able to reuse it again and again. We're going to make it once again with a box. I'm going to choose these parameters. I want it to be three by three, and I'm going to make it 15 high. I'm going to pick a different color for it. I'm going to make it gray like it's metal. I'm going to choose a wood color for this one. I'm going to hit play so I can see them all. And then friends, it's time to assemble our little chair. You may notice you cannot see the leg. That is because it is under the back of our chair. So simply go to create new object. This one is finally going to be named chair. And then we're going to use the parts. So we're going to add a copy of the seat. You can find these pieces in the data section. When you bring that seat in, we need to modify its location. So remember how our chair leg was 15 high? So we're going to change Z to 15 high. If we hit play, you'll see that there are two seats. There's the original one, and there's the one that moved. Since we are done with our seat, we are going to delete the seat after we move it. So once again, we go to data, and we're going to put seat under there to clean up our mess. Now when you hit play, that seat draws when it's created, it goes to its placement, and then it disappears. Let's go back to modify, and let's add a copy of the back of our chair. Go to data, find the back, find your move, once again, that height of 15 is what matters, but we're also going to slide it backwards on Y. So first, let's put a 15 in here, and then on Y, remember how we're 20 in size? This is 0, 0, so we need to go back half of 20. So let's do 10 on the Y axis. When we hit play, you will see that our seat draws, then all of a sudden, here comes our back. Notice I need to raise it up higher. So I'm going to go 15 more. Let's see if 30 is the perfect number. The reason it is like that is because it draws half below 0 when it draws. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to choose to connect them, so I'm going to put 28. I'm also going to hit the Delete Object, and we're going to delete that back. Let's hit play, and now for the first time, when that back gets deleted, we'll actually get to see our chair leg. There it is at zero, zero, half above, half below. 
let's quickly return to our chair leg and change its height. So remember we have to go half of 15, so change this to 7.5. When we hit play, you'll see that our leg is directly under the middle of our chair, which is kind of funny. But all we need to do is down here in the actual chair, add a copy of that chair leg and move it to its correct location. Here's my move. Let's go to data. Let's put the leg under there. Once again, I'm going to remind you this is 20 by 20. So I'm going to go 9 on X and I'm going to go 9 on Y. And let's see how that chair leg we just added looks. You'll notice there's one that stays in the middle because we still haven't deleted it. And look at the other one, it's back on that corner. Now I don't like nine and nine, so I'm gonna change it to eight and eight. I'm gonna speed up the drawing and let's see if I like that better. I do like that. I'm gonna take my chair leg and I'm gonna round it with that number two. Let's hit play and see how that looks. I think that's too round, so I'm gonna change this to three. These are the edge steps, so it'll sharpen it. I like that a little bit better. I'm even gonna try two though, just in case. That I think is what I really want. So now friends, watch this, duplicate, and we just wanna change that chair leg to negative eight. Boom, you've got both of the backs of your legs completed. We are going to duplicate all of those. So you'll notice here I've got four legs. And these need to be moved forward. So where this time you had positive eight, we're going to do a Y of negative eight and a Y of negative eight. When you hit play, for a moment, we'll have five chair legs. But we can fix that by going back to modify and bringing out our delete object. Find your data grab your leg and then we want to take this whole thing and make it a group once again under modify and I'm gonna put that above the delete object and when you hit play friends you will have just made a nifty chair alright friends so the reason we did this is because we can bring this part into Tinkercad there are chairs in Tinkercad but the scaling is locked so a student said yesterday how can we fix this and I said BAM in minutes we're gonna make a chair you'll be able to customize it and make it do whatever you want whatever colors you pick right here are the colors you're gonna see now when it comes in you will be able to change it to one other color but you won't be able to multicolor it so if you want a special chair you'll need to come back to your code block custom customize the color or the shape and then do this next step where we save it as a part. So what we're going to do is hit export and we are going to export it as a part. It'll show you what it's going to look like. You need to give it a name. I'm going to call it chair. You could put your name after it. You could give it tags so it was easily searchable. And then what I want to make sure you remember don't lock the part size. That way, whatever piece you bring it in, you'll be able to shift drag and make it however you want. So just like that, I'm gonna hit save shape. We will back out of here and we'll go to the real Tinkercad. So instead of code blocks, I'm choosing 3D designs. I'm choosing create new design. And then instead of basic shapes, we wanna go to shape collection and bam, there is my awesome chair. Bring it in. Hold down shift, scale it to whatever size you want. Do control D, make as many of them as you need. Instantly, you've got a chair you can use in all your projects. Friends, if you're in my classroom, make sure you've got a screenshot of one of these. Make sure you change the color so I can tell that you built it the way you're supposed to. And of course, if you enjoyed the movie, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.